Okay. Sure, am I in trouble? No, I don't even a little bit. <laughs> Let her rip. Well, Coach, a big story of this game, uh, the penalty kill for your yeah. team, five for five. What was the, the greatest factor in your mind? I think... Well, we won a bunch of face-offs. Our face-off number is really good, and, it, and that's a 12 to 15 second clear every time you can win and get one down. So the face-offs were the driver, then the block shots. I think our penalty kills a lot like our power play. Uh, the numbers aren't very good at all, but we've been perfect in our last three games, and I think our expected goals is, is actually pretty solid. It's like our expected goals on the power play is really solid. So that's what coaches do when the analytics shade the good light. We Talking about analytics, they play, they battle hard. We won faceoffs, they blocked shots, and we got saves. That's penalty killing. You've talked a lot about playing a full 60 minutes. Talked yeah. Talked about Tony first game that he was really pleased with the team 60 minute effort. What yeah. stood out to you? It would be just that. I think that we had a great one to start the season and didn't get a, a favorable result. We had really one five on five shift in the second period where we got in trouble. Um, other than that, we were pretty solid, you know, like we're, we're, we have to grind a little bit. Scoring's not easy for us right now, and that's fine. So we learn how to battle and grind and, and keep games tight and then not give as much up. I mean, we're a pretty good defensive team right now with a lot of new faces in our lineup, so I think we're pretty pleased with where we're at. Steve's goal was obviously to get his own right, though. Yeah. The timing of it, being able to sit on the purple and intermission, gain some confidence. Yeah, it, it, it takes a little pressure off, right, because you feel like you've got something good going. We, both teams missed on their best offense. They never got it to the net or they just missed. Or uh, A lot of pucks that were so close to going in for both teams just got deflected just a little bit wide. And then it was, uh, you know, good on him for, having the, for, for putting the puck to the net and not trying to hang on to it too long. So I'm glad he got it. He's worked hard. And he, it's, it's important for those guys to get a payoff and, and to get a game winner. You're down three pretty good players. Yeah. Good portions of that game, you had the puck. Like the first 10 right. minutes, you had the puck like the whole yeah. time. What's going right like in your team game um, and during those stretches? I think we're f fairly far along in what we're trying to do defensively to the point we can play fast. We play fast defensively tonight, especially in the game. We had the puck, didn't create a tremendous amount. And, and you'll know, you know, we're getting a lot blocked from up top, and that's, that's part of it. We're also not jetting a tremendous amount off the rush, and both Montour and Eckblad get up the ice. And all. You, you need your defense to get up the ice to, if you're going to create an odd man. So we're lacking a little bit, but I, I almost, so that's the truth. I almost don't want to tell you that because these other guys are playing their asses off out there, right? Like Mikola and Kulikov and all the guys that we've brought in have been hard and great. It's not perfect all the time, may not always be pretty, but highly effective. You know, that's a good offensive team that, it's got a lot of confidence, and we kept him to 15 shots on goal. That's pretty good for a road game. And when you needed Bob, he was there. Like, what have you thought about his start overall? Well, he looks like he, he finished. He, he does. Now, I think, I think we're playing a – well, I know we're playing in some ways a better game than, than we played for him probably in the last couple months there. Mm -hmm. uh, we're giving him a little bit better chance, but he's been good. Like, he looks right on. Can you kind of overlook how effective he is when it comes to helping with handling the puck and yep. breaking things out and everything like that? He was good with that tonight. Um, we had to work. It's really a challenge when you put four new defensemen in your lineup. Just that communication and those reads. But he's gotten kind of, he's almost led the defense out of that kind of difficult period of learning each other. And he's been really predictable with the puck, especially tonight. And then I think in those last two or three as well, very predictable. The defense are starting to settle back there with that.